Hi, welcome back to English Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain adventure fantasy movie called The BFG. Watch out must drop like on video and support this new movie channel. At the beginning of the film, a young pretty girl of about 10 years old is seen. This little girl's name was Sophie, and she used to live in an orphanage because both of her parents died. Sophie suffered sleep disorders, so she used to spend her night while waking up. She continues to wander orphanage because she had sleep disorder throughout the night. She had also a fear like the other kids, there is an old man who appears in the darkness, and he abducts the children after this. He eats these children after killing them, one night when all are sleeping, she hears a cat's meow, she was facing the sleep disorder so she goes to check it outside, when she is on the balcony, she checks that some cats have dropped the trash cans, suddenly, she notices that, a giant's hand sets the trash bin on its place. Appearing from the back of the building, afterwards, a gigantic giant appears from the backside of the building, Sophie, had witnessed that giant, and it had also viewed her, she, is scared, seeing it, and she immediately moves to her bed, but that giant captures, Sophie, putting its hand in the window, and it takes her away with it, it is seen, this giant used to keep itself hidden from the human beings, if any human being used to appear before it, it used to cover itself in some way, and then it sneaks out from there, then it steps into another world, taking Sophie, and it was the giant's world, it means that only giants lived there, Sophie, notices that, it is, grand house, and everything of that house was gigantic in size like the giants, Sophie attempts to escape from there, giant says to her, there is no way to escape, so you cannot go anywhere from here, hearing it, she is frightened, she observes that it is an aged giant, it says to Sophie, while putting her on the frying pan, I am feeling much appetite, I am feeling appetite which is not being controlled by me, Sophie was thinking, this giant is going to victimize me, she also hears the laughing sounds of other giants there, so she asks the aged giants, are there also other giants, aged giant says on it, yeah, there are also other giants, and those all giants are cannibals as they eat the raw flesh of human beings, because they don't take pity on any human being, and their captured person is engulfed by them. Knowing it, Sophie is more frightened, so she asks aged giant, will you also eat me? That aged giant tells on it, no, I don't eat the human beings, because I am vegetarian giant not the man eater. And this giant only takes the vegetable which was flavorless, in spite of this, he does not want to eat the human beings. It indicates that it is a sympathetic and kid-hearted giant, she asks the aged giant. Why have you brought me here if you don't eat the human beings, the aged giant tells that you had seen me, you could tell to someone there about me, and my life might be in danger in this way, knowing about us. Human beings reach here, and they also put to end the other giants, and it is the cause that I had to bring you here, now you will spend the whole span of your life with me here, Sophie says on it, no, I will flee, the aged giant says, no, never take a risk to run away, otherwise, the giants which are outside will not take pity on you, saying it, that aged giant places Sophie on a board, and it says to her, have rest for some time, but as Sophie used to suffer the sleep disorders, then she notices that giant is taking out the big bottles from its bag, there was something in those bottles which was sparkling, the she asks the giants, what is in these bottles, the giant tells, there are, dreams in it, she says on it, oh, then these are not of my use, because I don't dream, and how can I dream, because I suffer the sleep disorder, then that giant starts reading that book which was in Sophie's possession, there were many written stories in this book, the elderly giant begins to read the stories that are causing Sophie to sleep, after this, that aged giant takes a bottle, and it takes the dreams out of the bottle, meanwhile, Sophie wakes up, she notices that giant is sleeping yet, getting the benefit of it, she escapes outside from that house, she tries to run, away, but she is captured by a huge giant, and that giant was in fact bigger than that aged giant, Sophie, requests to that giant, let me go from here, but that giant does not care Sophie, and it engulfs her, Sophie wakes up exactly after this, it means that Sophie, was having a nightmare, Sophie, asks that giant after waking up, it is you who did it, because neither I sleep nor I dream, but the dream, that you have shown to me was a nightmare, that giant says, I had to do it, I did so to inform you how much risk is wandering outside for you, so it will be better for you to stay here, the aged giant explains to Sophie, the presented giant here are bigger in size than me, and I am trivial before those giants, because I am a small giant and also aged one, a huge giant comes inside as they were still conversing with each other, 
and it was truly bigger than that aged giant. That monster asks the matured Goliath, while coming that, pygmy, with whom were you talking, here all monsters used to call the matured Goliath, a pygmy, since it was littlest in size than others. The matured Goliath answers them, no, I was chatting with none, in the meantime, Sophie likewise conceals some place. That greater monster's hand was injured so it had come to the matured person for dressing, as being savage. That Goliath detects the smell of individual in that house, so he starts to really take a look at the put things there, then Sophie moves into that vegetable which matured man used to eat, smelling that vegetable, that monster detects the person there, monster had never eaten this vegetable ever, yet it was smelling the captivating person in this vegetable today, on the grounds that Sophie was inside so the Goliath starts to eat it, the matured Goliath says, seeing it, stop, you can't take it, have you failed to remember that you don't take vegetables, that Goliath says on it, ah, how I fail to remember it that I don't take vegetables, so it tosses the vegetable and Sophie is safeguarded, subsequently, that monster leaves from that point, then that matured monster needed to head off to some place, Sophie asks it, where are you going? The matured man says on it, I'm going for a pressing work, she asks, what is that dire work? Yet it uncovers nothing yet it uncovers on the demand of Sophie that I will catch the fantasies, then at that point Sophie demands it, take me with you, but he would have rather not went with her with him. Since there will be the deadly results assuming the dormant beasts outside are stirred and see her, so it would have rather not taken any risk, yet it consents to take Sophie with it on her most extreme demand they notice. Coming external that those Goliaths are dozing significantly, so they needed to cross them yet. All Goliaths are stirred simultaneously, and they start to bother the matured Goliath that, Pygmy, where are you going? It says on it, I'm going on my work, those monsters share with it. We don't maintain that you should go outside from here, in the realm of people on the grounds that our lives will be in danger assuming people had some awareness of us. All giants irritated the aged giant too much, getting a chance, Sophie hides in a vehicle, then aged giant says while pointing to the sky that, look at that, all witness that it is cloudy and it is going to rain. Actually, all giants used to afraid from the water, because they had irrational fear of water, then it starts raining, and all giant hide leaving from there, getting the advantage of it, both aged giant and Sophie goes from there, they begin to climb up the mountains, climbing up, they go far away crossing the clouds, Sophie says, these stars are looking charming. Viewing from here, the aged giant tells, I can also hear their rhythm, it indicates that I can hear the sound of everything in the universe, I can hear the ants and insects, even I can hear the tales of the trees. My audibility is too strong to hear the voice of things of universe, Sophie says after hearing it. I am not believing in your told stories, the aged giant says, it is truth my daughter, you will have to trust it, afterwards. They reach a lake, there was a tall and prosperous tree nearby it, the aged giant jumps into the water and Sophie also jumps with it, then both reach at the opposite brink of the lake. And it is the world of dream, because dreams drop from that tree like the drops, and the aged giant comes here only to capture them. Then they both capture many dreams together, these included both good and bad dreams, capturing these dreams, they begin to move back. They had befriended closely now, they were contented with each other, the aged giant also tells her about its poignant story, that here all giants call me pygmy, but it is pleased thinking something, I have also met someone who, used to call me, the big friendly giant, hearing it, Sophie says, I will also call you, the big friendly giant, now on. They wander the city after capturing the dreams, where the kids are sleeping in their own houses, and, the big friendly giant, awards them very good dreams during their sleep, so the people may get the pleasure in their dreams, here it is known that, the big friendly giant, is tender-hearted giant, who awards the dreams to the people, taking them from the dream world, so, these may bring pleasure in their life, no matter during their sleeps, Sophie asks, were you told about the dreams by your parents? The big friendly giant tells on it, giants have no parents, then she asks the age of, the big friendly giant, how old are you? The big friendly giant tells that my age is equal to this universe age. It means that giants had also created with the creation of this universe, but they live in this universe behind the walls. 
hiding themselves from the human beings. Then they begin to return. Suddenly, Sophie asks, where is my blanket? Actually, Sophie's blanket had left in the giant's world, and the big friendly giant gets worried for this fact. So it says to Sophie, I cannot bring you back now, because those giants had detected till now that any human being is also with me, and here, the big friendly giant, reveals a fact to Sophie, I had found a kid for many years ago, he was as innocent and pretty as you are, and he had also seen me, like you, so I brought that child into the world of the giants, and the same kid taught me how to read, and your worn jacket belongs to that my innocent little friend, but it was too late before I bring that child into his world, and I don't want to see you to face same consequences which my innocent friend faced, because you are also my friend now. Then he decides to go, leaving Sophie there, whereas Sophie forbids it to stay here, and she insists to accompany it. At this time, that giant does not agree with her. Then, the big friendly giant begins to go, leaving her in the orphanage. Sophie did not want to stay there so she jumps off the balcony, because she knew that she will be secured by the big friendly giant and it happens the same, the big friendly giant saves her, so it has to agree with Sophie unwillingly, so it brings her again into the world of the giants, where the rest of the giants were already waiting for them, because all giants had come to know that aged giant has any human being, so all giants were curious to know, who is that human being, where is that human, so they discover the house of the big friendly giant smelling the blanket and they bring about the breakage of the house belongings, but the big friendly giant burns that blanket, having the smell of Sophie, then it asks all giants to leave its house, Sophie notices the hanging photo on the wall, it was the photo of a queen, Sophie hits upon a plan, noticing that photo, the she asks the big friendly giant to make a dream for the queen, and expose in that dream that there is world of giants in the same universe, and those giants are too dangerous which eat all kids, killing them, and you may also bring both of us in that dream, so the queen may recognize us if we go before them, hearing it. The big friendly giant does the same, and he creates a dream of all giants, living in the giant's world. Furthermore, it likewise incorporates himself and Sophie into this fantasy, and it additionally incorporates the other missing children of the city, then, at that point, they move close by the royal residence of the queen, and they move the fantasies into resting queen, and the sovereign dreams what they needed to show to her, awakening, the queen is frightened in light of the fact that it was a bad dream. Since monsters were eating the kids, the queen offers her fantasy to her chaperone. Her orderly control center her maxim, simply relax, it was only your bad dream, she says, perusing the paper. A bizarre happening has happened, on the grounds that many children had been lost from their home last evening. It happens equivalent to you have imagined, then the sovereign says, pull out the draperies, Sophie was remaining close to windowsill as the shades are removed, they had really made it the piece of the fantasy and they had likewise included the enormous accommodating Goliath there, Sophie fills them in about the large accommodating Goliath, she additionally takes the expressions of Queen saying, commitment me that you won't damage to the huge accommodating monster, then the enormous accommodating Goliath shows up before the sovereign and curves it down with manners, then the queen likewise satisfies her promise. There was additionally ludicrous reality about the Goliaths here, they couldn't articulate the right word, so it used to call something different than the queen, the enormous well-disposed Goliath couldn't articulate the word person correctly. They used to unadulterated the muddled out words, a while later, the queen welcomes them heartily, and she likewise offers them a phenomenal feast, then they uncover everything to the queen. There are two greater monsters in the monster's reality, which eat the children and people, getting them. So the queen prepares to help them, and she readies her total military, with the assistance of the large accommodating giant. They move to the monster's reality, getting in the helicopters. Now they had arranged here appropriately, so they stop at a spot as per a plan. Because they had shown up there to attack them with full arrangement, that's what the arrangement incorporated. The large accommodating monster will create a dream, and the big friendly giant will include the repentance and guilt in these dreams for their bad deeds which were committed by them, and the big friendly giant also creates such a dream as the big friendly giant goes to deliver that dream to those giants. Then it remembers that I have forgotten the tool of delivering the dream into the palace of the queen, 
and it was dangerous to do it without that thing, because it had to go to those giants, but Sophie courageously takes that dream jar to the place of sleeping giants, the leader of those giants wakes up before Sophie was able to break this jar, Sophie breaks that jar as it is going to grab her, and that dream is delivered to the sleeping giants. Waking up, those giants feel guilt on their bad doings, but the giant leader was waking up. So it does not feel any repentance or guilt, so it attacks Sophie, but the big friendly giant appears before that giant. That giant catches it in its hand because of big friendly giant's small size, as it begin to kill the big friendly giant. The queen's armed military reaches there in the helicopter, and they take all giants with them, seizing them. And they are left on an island amid of the sea. Now there was water in their surroundings and they used to fear the water, so they could not escape from there. So they have been entrapped here for a lifetime, the queen throws the seeds of food stuff there for those giants. So these giants may grow the vegetables, using those seeds, and they eat that vegetable for the lifetime. Now those giants had disliking for this vegetable but they had to eat it reluctantly, and they have to eat this vegetable. Living on this island forever, after this, Sophie is shown who does not stay in the orphanage, but she lives in the palace of the queen, Sophie is very pleased here, and she can also contact with the big friendly giant at any time, because the big friendly giant had told that it can hear each sound of this universe, on the other side, the big friendly giant, who have left alone in the giant's world, who have grown many other vegetables in the giant's world besides that meadow, and it is also contented in its life, Sophie comes to the windowsill daily and says good morning to BFG. Hearing it, the big friendly giant replies it, and this fabulous movie completes here, thanks for watching.